Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome back to my channel, Sasha Reads, and this is going to be my September TBR. <laughs> September is a full on month. I've got Thick Thighs Readathon, which is my own readathon that I'm hosting with three of my best friends here on BookTube, Meredith, Aaron, and Ren. Go check out the announcement video. I'll link it up above and down below for you. So that is going to be from the 11th to the 17th of September. And then I have Pick Pongathon, which I have already filmed my throws and I will link that or clip that soon. And then also Sufferathon is happening and I don't know what's happening with that, but we'll see how we go. Apparently we're just meant to suffer. I've got a bunch of physical books, I've got a bunch of audio books, and I've got 10 minutes to film this video, so let's do it. So I am doing Pokemon Go Chooses My TBR this month, and I'll start playing it here. But first of all, I picked up a Swirlix, which is a fairy type Pokemon, which means I have to read a book about Fae. And I'm choosing Vicious Fae by Carolyn Peckham and Susan Valenti. This is the third book in the Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac series. I am thoroughly enjoying this series and what Elise is going to do is really keeping me on my toes. The overarching arc of who killed her brother is still kind of like in the background there but it's really looking focusing on her relationships with all four of the boys and I really love Leon and yeah look Ride is not too bad so I'm excited to see how it goes. I then caught a Swablu, which was a flying slash normal type Pokemon. And I'm going to be going with the flying type prompt, which was um, a sci-fi book. And I'm going to be continuing on with the Klekanian series by Victoria Adeline. I'm going to be re buddy reading Freeing Luca with Meredith and a bunch of other people because we buddy read Choosing Theo this month on my birthday live sprints. And it was such a fun time. So this is about Theo's brother, Luca, who has been captured because um, the people on this alien world have realized that if they use humans to breed with, like, it's easier to breed with humans than it is other aliens, things like that. I don't know. It was a fun time, and I'm excited to see where this story goes. I then caught a cast form, which is a normal type Pokemon. So I'm actually going to... Now, normal type is like literary fiction, historical fiction, things like that. And I'm actually finally going to be reading Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have not read this yet, but I'm only reading this because of another book on my TBR this month. So yeah, so this is a wrecked book. Oh my gosh, I think it's been in my car ever since I bought it. And it's got sunscreen all over it. It's disgusting. Anyway, this is about the Reaver family. It's based in August 1983. And I've heard it's a fun time. Something happens, there's like this big party. It's about one unforgettable night in the life of a family. I really enjoyed, obviously, Daisy Jones and Evelyn Hugo, so I'm excited to read about Malibu Rising. I then caught a Zigzagoon, which is a dark slash normal type Pokemon. And I'm going to be reading Ghost by Cat Blackthorn. This is a dark romance sort of book. Apparently it's Why Choose, which is exciting. I'm not quite sure. I only know that it's dual POV, spicy and spooky. Tricks and treats lurk around every jack-o'-lantern and gravestone in this grown-up Halloween-themed paranormal romance. Meet witches, vampires, wolves and ghouls and maybe a few odd birds and pirates too. Sink your teeth into this paranormal urban fantasy romance and get ready for all the Halloween vibes. I know that Blythe, the main female character, is plus size, so I'm going to be reading this for the Thick Thighs Readathon. I've heard good things about this book, so I'm excited to finally pick it up. I then caught a Mankey, which is a fighting type Pokemon, and the prompt for this was a book with sports, and I'm finally going to be reading Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So that is why I'm reading Malibu Rising this month, because I need to read this one this month. This was also on my 12 books by 12 friends by Meredith. I'm not looking forward to this at all but here I am reading it for you Meredith so I hope you love me. I then caught a Talo which is a normal flying Pokemon and another sci-fi prompt so I'm going to be reading Promises Stronger Than Darkness by Charlie Jane Anders. This is the third book in the Unstoppable trilogy. I'm halfway through this book but I thought perfect time to finish it because 
it's queer. We've got um, a fat main character or fat POV. And I really just want to finish this series. I'm absolutely adoring this series. And it's just honestly such a fun time. And um, yeah, I can't wait to finish it. Especially for Thick Thighs Readathon. We then caught a Yanma, which is a bug slash flying type Pokemon. And bug type prompt is read a book that you, it's going to make you cry. And I'm not quite sure what's going to make me cry this month. So I'm going with the flying type prompt again, which is read a sci-fi. And uh, if you weren't aware, Ash and I are hosting the Madura and Chronicles read along. Now we have finished that. The live show is this Sunday. We're going to continue on with Lynette Noni's backlist and start reading the Whisper duet. And so we're going to be picking up Whisper this month in September. It's like dystopian sci-fi sort of thing, pretty much. It's about this Jane Doe who's been locked away, who's been an experiment, and she's not said a word the whole time. I'm really excited to read this with the people. And yeah, excited to read more Lynette Nani because I have not read this series. And Lynette Nani's definitely become a favourite author. And then I caught a Pile of Swine, which is an ice slash ground type Pokemon. I'm going to go with the ice type prompt, which is read a book set in winter or read like a ice book like book with snow anyway i'm going to be reading honeymoon for one by rachel bowdler this is a net galley arc it's queer and it's set in like christmas well it looks like it's into the winter with the cover here anyway so yeah cancelled engagement a non-refundable re honeymoon a christmas robin will never forget so keen for the holiday romance so we've got a standoffish ski instructor and an overworked Robin. Now I'm going to play Pick Pomathon and then I'm going to tell you about the prompts and then I'll be reading for them. that I got. Um, I can't remember what they were in order. So let's start off with the one where I got the ball in the cup twice. It wasn't twice in a row, but I'm pretty sure if we get it in the same cup, you have to combine them. So our uh, male protagonist and audiobook were my two um, that I got in the same. Actually, I had two rewards too. Where were they gone? So I remember one reward was Step Closer, and I did that, even though there was really not much to do with Step Closer. Another reward was swap a book. So I will let you know in another clip when that happens. But another prompt I got was LGBTQIA+, which was a reward. I have to read a banned book, a name in the title, and a random number page number. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to do a random wheel 
random number page number. I hope these work well with my Pokemon Go TBR. And I hope this video works out well because this is just chaotic. You can probably, you probably saw Atlas running around while I was doing ping pong. I realize it's like almost a week till August, no, till September. And I also have to work out my Thick Five CBR. Oh, I've got a lot of things to do. So let's go do it. One of the prompts was pick a random number. No, random number page number. So I did a random number between one and 500. I'll put that here. And I got 282. There was one book on my Goodreads CBR. It's 282 pages that I did not want to read. It's like called My Best Friend's X. I don't know why it's on there. It's on my Kindle. It must have been free. But I really don't want to read about someone falling in love with their bestie's ex. Like this, I don't know why I have it. So I was looking through my books that I want to read. Now here the whole time, this edition is 273 pages. But there is one edition on Goodreads that has 282 pages. So I'm going to count that. And this is a queer YA and one of the main characters is fat. So this will be work well for the fat male main character prompt in Thick Thighs. I had an audiobook prompt, but I had to combine it with male protagonists. So I'm going to be reading Freeing Luca by Victoria Aberline. Then we had a LGBTQIA plus prompt, which I'm going to be reading Zini by um, Rebecca Weatherspoon, which is the group book for Thick Thighs Readathon. And I'm very excited about this. It's like a marriage convenience. We've got a black fat female main character and a thick male main character. Yeah, I'm very excited for that. And then I had a banned book prompt. So I'm gonna be reading Melissa by Alex Gino. This originally called George, but because it is about a book about this girl who was trapped in the wrong body and trying to tell people that when they were a child, they decided to go with her name, which is Melissa. So I'm gonna be reading that. And then for name and the title, I'm gonna be reading Carrie Soto. Because Carrie Soto. Okay, so for thick thighs, I have a couple different prompt, like a couple different suggestions, hopefuls that I want to read. I've got a lot of net galley arcs. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. But we've got Fat and Queer, which is an anthology of queer and trans bodies and lives. We've got Coven by Teos Marakshi, which is a graphic novel, but I like that cover. I've got Fat Witch Summer by Lizzie Ives. It says, Dumplin' meets the craft in this body positive fantasy novel for fans of summer, road trips, female friendship, and magic. I have Her Own Happiness by Eden Apiakubi. This is about the sister from the Bennett women. So I'm excited to read more from this author. It's like a new adult, not really new, like she's in her like 20s, oh no, Happy 31st birthday. So it's, it's an adult contemporary. So I'm excited for that. I believe it's got bi rep and it's a BIPOC author. Another hopeful is Done and Done by Leonore Solis. Uh, that looks like we've got two thick main characters there. So I'm excited for that. That's just a contemporary romance. Um, I think it's workplace, like rivals to lovers maybe. Those are all the books on my TBR for September, not including Saprathon. So look out for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below, are you going to be reading any of the same books as me? And what are you going to be reading for Thick Thighs Readathon? Let me know down below, below please. I would love to know. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.